now, your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by LEH Soap Company. We're committed to hand-making natural skincare products in small batches. From vegan soap to our specialty bath line. Find us at one of our five locations in Marmora, Ocean City and Asbury Avenue, the Ocean City Boardwalk, Historic Smithville, and Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Hot and dangerous. If you're one of us, then roll with us. I saw a pink concert a few years ago on the beach in Atlantic City, and it was so much fun. It is hot out there, and it can be dangerous to your health if you're not paying attention to what your body is telling you. You want to stay hydrated. You want to stay away from that high concentration of ozone out there. So uh, maybe stay in the AC and catch up on Stranger Things. How many of you out there are Stranger Things fans? I mean, wow, what they did with this last season. Can't wait for it to uh, pick back up in like 2032. 84 right now in Marlton, 85 in Trenton, 86 in Media, 85 in Mays Landing. Still a little cooler at the beaches because we have the sea breeze settling in. All right, no government secret here. We have rain coming in. That's going to be late tonight into early tomorrow. And I believe we are looking at the potential for excessive rainfall. Why? Well, we already had a lot of rain earlier this week for some of the area, specifically in the yellow shaded region in... Salem, Cumberland, Cape May County, some folks here have picked up one to two inches earlier in the week, and we're expecting another inch or more out of the system late tonight and tomorrow morning. So there could be flash flooding concerns tomorrow. So all of Delmarva, extreme South Jersey, then out towards the I-95 corridor in uh, Maryland and Virginia. Our future cast for the rest of today shows you the clouds. Some showers coming in mainly after the bedtime hour, but then pockets of downpours overnight as you're waking up tomorrow morning. I think the heaviest gets going five, six o'clock in the morning and then still with us sometime around the lunch hour. This model, which I'm hoping is true, has the heaviest out of here after lunch, one, two o'clock in the afternoon, but you could still be looking at some lingering light showers behind. So if your plans are in the morning and early afternoon, I would definitely think about uh, doing something else, like indoors, watching a movie, shopping, whatever. I'm not going to give you money to shop, but you can spend your own money. That's fine. You all work hard. Uh, but things are going to be better in the afternoon and evening hours on Saturday. Then Sunday, high pressure builds in, and we are looking at phenomenal weather. So 68 tonight, areas of rain, maybe a couple of claps of thunder. We have a south to southwest wind at under 5 miles an hour. Going into tomorrow morning, rain. Rain, rain, rain. 71 degrees. It's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy. Only low to mid 70s for highs in the day. In fact, after the rain shuts off, your temperatures might climb a little bit in the mid and upper 70s. And winds all day are going to be off of the ocean. Now, this isn't a tidal flooding situation. It's not a coastal storm, but it's a poor drainage flooding type event that's coming through. About 80 degrees on your Sunday, wall to wall sunshine, beautiful weather overall. So, this takes us to our seven day forecast here. Beautiful stuff. Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday, even though we tick our temperatures up a little bit around 90 degrees, it's a spattering of hot weather in a sea of otherwise normal to slightly below normal temperatures. That's where we go. I really don't see any big heat waves anytime soon. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.